My name is Kalisha West. I'm the former two division world boxing champion. The first major decision that I made that led me to become a boxer was opening up and letting my dad know that I wanted to box. Because after he retired, he became a coach. And for years, I was always watching him travel with the boys, go to the tournaments. And I was always telling him like, oh, that's cool. Yeah, hey dad, and I'd joke around. But then it was when I just was going into junior high, I said, I want to box too, dad. He's like, you want to what, box? So he didn't really take me serious. To me, that's a challenge. If my dad's not gonna take me serious, then I'm gonna say, okay, I see, I'll show you that I can box. He threw me in there with a bigger, stronger girl. I lost bad. I got two A counts. I remember she hit me so hard I couldn't even keep my balance. I was stumbling across the ring and he expected that to be, okay, I'm done. I knew I lost, so as soon as the decision, they raised their hand, I was yelling at her in the corner going, hey, are you gonna be at the show next week? Because I wanna rematch you, I'll be there. Um, you know, we could rematch next, that was my mentality. I'm like, whoa, I need to come back and I need to get mine. So I made the decision to continue. The second decision that I made was I had to give up living a normal life. I never lived a normal life. When I was in high school, I wasn't allowed to go to football games. I had a curfew up until I was 23. Until I moved out, I had a curfew of 11 o'clock. I couldn't go to extracurricular activities. I gave up a lot of family events too. You know, there were weddings, there were just things that were going on and it was, but if I miss practice, I won't be able to spar and if I miss sparring, I'm gonna lose my fight. I mean, people say that it's it's too much. It, you know, you don't have to be that strict, but when you live that different lifestyle, I mean, it keeps you really focused. It keeps you really grounded. The third major decision that I made uh, that led me to become a world champion boxer was uh, knowing how it was for women's boxing in America. I could have easily just said, Dad, it's too hard. You know, it's not there for women. I don't want to do it. Um, I'd rather just start my life, but I didn't do it. I turned pro at age 18, and I was a valet parker at age 18. So I was running, chasing cars, and then right when I was getting off work, training for my next professional fight. As a professional boxer and um, being mixed, half Latina, half Native American, primarily, I faced so many, so many obstacles with favoritism. I, ne I didn't necessarily fit in with just one group of people. Um, you know, if, you, if you're full Hispanic, then you're gonna have the whole Oscar behind you. You're gonna have the Latino community, you know, behind you. If you're blonde hair, blue eyes, you're the all-American girl, you know, all, all of America's gonna just embrace, embrace. But being in between, I always felt like there was no one crowd, one country, one background who could fully support me. So I see people for who they are because my whole life I was always in between of everything. And I like to say that I'm lucky because I get the best of all the talents in the background of my heritage. So for an example, I have the chin of Julio Cesar Chavez, the speed of Sugar Ray Leonard. I have, you know, the the uh, Miguel Cotto, you know, uh, strength and, and determination and heart of, you know, all of them put together. You know, it's in our blood to, to be these amazing athletes and, and compete and, and be great at what we do.